Now, the California Attorney General is suing the school board for saying that parents have a right to know if their 14-year-old is transitioning their gender. Yeah, exactly right, Charlie. In fact, the president of the school board, Sonia Shaw, uh, she is from our church. You're exactly right. Four to one victory on what? They voted four to one, Charlie. This is quite technical, so follow me through on this. One of the young men that we had uh, elected to the state assembly, Bill Aselli, he immediately crafted, once he was elected to Sacramento, he immediately crafted Assembly Bill 1314. And that was simply this, a proactive bill that would require that the school district inform or the school where a child is attending informs the mother or the father that their child is in any way, shape or form transitioning or has expressed desire uh, to be uh, in the state of transitioning. In other words, please tell the parents, that's what we're asking for. So the California state legislature read his bill and refused to let it go to the floor, Charlie. They banned it from the floor. They stonewalled it. They didn't let it get to the floor. He came back thinking he was defeated. What we did is that we read his bill and we took the verbiage from that bill and then introduced it to our unified school district uh, school board and they voted and adopted the verbiage. So what was supposed to go state uh, law turned out to be defeated there at the state, not even heard, but that's okay. Guess what happened? We found out something, Charlie, that the most powerful politics is local. And so what happened is the school board voted to adopt his verbiage. And since that time, Charlie, we, we're looking at Murrieta School District. We're looking at Orange School District, wow. Temecula School District. Four school districts have adopted the verbiage and they are standing strong. We've got five others in the state of California coming online to do the same. Charlie, this is a groundswell of involvement. But here's what happened. At our school board, Gavin Newsom secretly covertly sent down Tony Thurman, that is his uh, his uh, uh, head of public education for California. He came down to beat us up. What happened was during the school board meeting, uh, the parents and the school board ejected him after his one minute of conversation. You're allowed one minute. And he defended Gavin Newsom's uh, stand that the parents do not have the right to know. He was booed, he was shut down, and he was removed from the meeting. And that caused Newsom to be so upset that Bonta is his name, Bonta, Attorney General, just filed a lawsuit against Sonia Shaw and the Chino Unified School District Board to sue them because they do not believe it's the parents' rights to know what the child decides. And so we're gonna take that on. We're gonna uh, make sure that this goes to the US Supreme Court. Uh, but he has weaponized Newsom and Bonta. They have weaponized Charlie, the California state judicial system to seek to shut down every school board in California that rises up against them. Here's the good news. They don't have a leg to stand on. We have talked to every uh, decent legal mind and group uh, to conclude they don't have a leg to stand on. Let's fight. We're going to take it to the top. I love it. And to the Supreme Court if necessary. And then real quick, Charlie, uh, for, we did a rat. We commissioned a Rasmussen poll regarding parental rights. Do you believe that your child, uh, whatever they are involved in, should be uh, that should be notified to the parents? That Rasmussen poll came back, Charlie. Eighty-two percent of parents said that they want to be notified about what their kids are being taught uh, or introduced to in the public school system. Eighty-two percent. Again, that's a that's a bona fide qualified. Rasmussen poll. So, uh, Charlie, they're losing. They're losing in the ballot box. They're losing in the classroom. They're losing in the school boards here in California. I got to tell you, Charlie, I know you're in Arizona, but I wouldn't leave California for anything. The fight is raging here and we are winning uh, where we need to win. It's awesome. Jack, I have so much admiration for you. You gave a sermon recently where you said, why are we leaving? We are in the heart of the fight. 
I mean, we're going to abandon the largest state in the country, and it's very easy to flee and to leave. You're doing the opposite. So, Jack, I just want to drill in on the specifics here. This radical fringe crazy idea that is being pushed forward by the Chino Valley School District is that if your 13-year-old wants to medically mutilate themselves, the parent is just notified. Notified. Is this the radical crazy fringe idea that the Attorney General of California is suing over, Jack? Oh, yeah, that's exactly it. No, mom and dad, no way. Now, you feed your kid and you pay for their insurance and and you do whatever. But when it comes to your kid getting the idea, which, Charlie, you know this better than I do, which the idea was popped in their head in the public classroom yes. that that the kid now has been groomed to start thinking this way. Oh, mom and dad, you're the that's last exactly people right. on earth that need to know about this. And so you just stay out of it. Let us... Let us castrate your children and let us mutilate them, and you have nothing to say about it. Listen, California parents, grandparents, teachers that have a mind, you need to stand up against this stuff. If we all get on the same channel, so to speak, then Newsom and his henchmen cannot do anything about this. We need to stand up and speak. We need to take back our freedoms, and clearly it happens locally. Start in your own school district, and Californians, Listen, our state will mutilate your child and you'll be the last one to know about it. But somehow they, they might hold you to re, they might hold you responsible for it. If it goes south, you need to stand up and show up at school board meetings. And, and this is thanks to the church getting involved. Jack, we have you for another segment. And it's important to understand that the radical left does not even believe in the concept of a parent. Understand that the That's Bible right. was the one that said, honor your mother and father so that you may live long in the land of which you are in, the one of the only Ten Commandments that involves a promise and your nation. Yes. Every totalitarian government needs to break the bond between a parent and a child, and this is a perfect example. And I encourage everybody, California, wherever you are, we need to lean in 100%. The polling is with us, the truth is with us, the scriptures are with us, and the California Attorney General, they are overreaching, they are picking a bad fight here. They are going to lose in the public opinion. They will get booed out of rooms. I just want everyone to understand this. What the, the position of Gavin Newsom and his henchmen, as you say, Jack, is that if a 12 year old wants to get medically mutilated, the parent has no right to know, has no right yeah. to know. Yeah. That is the stated position of the California government. Jack, stay right there. And I think Jack Hibbs embodies this happy warrior spirit, smart, brave and joyful. That's how we're going to win.